Hello everyone, let's look at this integration by parts problem, which will require you to do it twice. Okay, so why do we need to do it twice? How do we know that? By just looking at the function. It's really because we have a second degree polynomial here. So just imagine that you start using this as a U and then we start differentiating it. What happens? Um, we differentiate the first time we are going to get, um, we're going to lower the power by one. So the degree will drop down to one in this case. And so we are going to get a linear polynomial. And after that, we do it one more time. And then that um, X power will disappear. Then we are going to get a constant. So all we need to do is to do it twice. But doing it twice will just um, be a lot of writing in this case. But if we're using the row integration by parts or the tablet method, then we actually can just simplify the process a lot more. So let's actually set up the table here. OK, so we have the table. And then we have the um, the sign column, the, uh, the differentiation column, the integration column, and then a note column for us to keep track of uh, um, what we have, right, when we need to stop. Okay, so let's get started. We are not going to spend too much time on this one. Okay, so we have the first one with the sign, which is plus, and then we are going to choose our polynomial as a the different, um, the column that we differentiate, right? So we are going to get this 3x squared minus 8x plus 2. Okay, so sometimes we actually need to make the column wider so that we have uh, more space to write down the stuff. But this is okay. Okay, now um, the integration column, we just put down the exponential function, which is e to the negative phi x dx. I'm omitting the dx. And then as you can see here, then this integral, actually it's the original integral when we multiply all those three entries in this table together, right? So if we multiply them all together, then we are going to get the integral of this 3x squared minus 8x plus 2, and then e to the negative 5x, and then dx. Yeah, so that's, that's quite simple right here. Now, we are going to do it the first time. So when we do it the first time, we are going to um, alternate the sign, right? So this would be a minus sign right here. And we are going to differentiate this uh, yellow expression right here. This is the uh, the second degree polynomial. If we take the derivative of it, we are going to get 6x minus 8. And then, so that's it. The 2 will disappear. And then when we integrate this e to the negative 5x, we are going to get e to the negative 5x. And then we need to multiply by the reciprocal of this coefficient of x because we need to reverse the chain rule. So we are going to get negative 1 over 5. Okay, so now we can just write down the no column here. Sometimes if you already know that how many times that you need, you are doing, you probably may not even need to uh, write down anything in the no column, but the no column is for you to keep track of the information. Okay, so it depends on the situation. Now, if we are to write it, because I'm actually just showing all the details, right? So I'm still going to write it here, which will give you um, okay, so first the negative times the negative will give you the positive sign here, and then you just get the one fifth outside the function. And then the integral of uh, 6x minus 8, and then e to the negative 5x dx. Okay, so we know that that's still a product. We still need to continue down with the table because we still have a product of a polynomial function and an exponential function. Okay, so do it one more time. We are going to get a plus sign right here. Just remember that the signs will be alternating, but the first one is always positive. Okay, so now if you take the derivative of this 6x minus 8, we are going to just get the 6. And then the next one, the next one would be um, e to the negative 5x. And then we need to multiply by the reciprocal, this negative 5 one more time, which will give us positive 1 over 25 because that's negative one over five times negative one over five. Okay, so now our, um, our integral that we are getting here would be six over 25. And then what is that? That's e, uh, integral of e to the negative five x dx. And actually we can stop here. Why can we stop here? Because this is an integral that we can integrate directly. Um, you could have go 
you could have gone um, one more row down right here, right? You're going to go all the way down to zero, but it's really unnecessary for this. Okay, so we just need to integrate that one here and then we'll finish writing down the answer. So integrating this one will be easy. We have six over 25 and then what do we get that? Um, e to the negative five x times negative one over five. Okay, so I need more space. Negative one over five e to the negative five x. And then multiplying this out, we are going to get negative six over 125 e to the negative five x. Okay, so that's the result for this integral. And we can go back to our original problem and start writing down the answer. Okay, so let's see. We go to this first um, sign right here, and then we take this arrow here. And then remember, we'll go down because we need to multiply the u and the v together, right? So arrow will go down this way. Then you are going to get negative one over five. Okay, actually, let me just use those colors, right? So we are going to get negative one over five, and then, and then that's what, three x squared, make sure you put parentheses, and then times e to the negative, e to the negative five x, right? E to the negative five x. Yeah, what's going on here? I multiply those two together, so I put them like this. And then what about the next turn? The next turn is the same thing, right? The next turn is going to be the same thing. I believe I may run out of space right here. So let me just move things around so that I will have more space. Yeah, this table can give me a little bit more space down here. And so that means I can move this one as a second line for uh, writing down the answer. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so the next one is that we are going to go to here, this, this, the second time that we're doing it, we have another UV, right? But this time there was a minus sign in front of the UV. So we have that. And then, so what do we get from there? There is a minus sign. There is the, um, the one over 25. Then there was this uh, 6x minus 8, and then e to the negative 5x. Okay, so see what's going on here, minus sign right here, and then 1 over 25, and then 6x minus 8, and then e to the negative 5x. Okay, that's good. And then last one is just to put down the result of this last integral that we are getting, which is just copying this right here. So we get negative six over 125 e to the negative five x, and then plus the constant of integration. I should use the, this color, okay? So that's our answer. And yeah, so it looks like the answer is complicated, but doing it this way is actually a good thing. It's really because if you, um, if you try to distribute this to be x squared with the e to the negative five x, the negative eight x times e to the negative five x, and then the two times e to the negative five x, and you need to do um, integration by parts multiple times, right, for multiple turns of this integrand. But if you're doing it this way, then we only need to do it twice, and we just go down the table with it quickly, and then all we need to do is to just figure out how to write down the answers. And it's not, um, not difficult to, to write down the answers. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Um, we'll continue to do more, um, more uh, difficult problems or integration by parts next time. And then of course, we're still gonna use the table and it's still going to be simple after you start using the table, okay? And yeah, so if you like my channel, please subscribe it and help me um, grow this channel and I will continue to make more videos. Thank you for watching this videos. Uh, I will see.